Hey guys, Christian here and welcome to another video. This time may case ako na i-review from MSI, which is the MAG Vampiric 300R. I'll show you the case features, saka yung mga available colors nito, just in case you want something different from the usual black color. Nagamit ko na ito in some of my previous videos, so it might seem familiar to some already. Here we have the three colorways of the MAG Vampiric 300R, which are the regular black one, the Pacific blue color, as well as the Midnight Green. Now, before you ask me what are the differences, sa color lang talaga ng chassis and internal sila nagkaiba. The rest are ultimately the same, which I'll discuss more in a bit. The regular black variant has a matte finish all along the front, top, and on the left side panel, which is pretty nice. For the Pacific Blue color naman, it's like a very dark blue color, just like the color of the deep Pacific Ocean, hence the name, Again, same matte finish all around even the inside. For the midnight green color variant, we have a color na medyo close to let's say military green which is a darker shade of green then. Matte finish din siya so just like the other variants. By the way, MSI apparently has some motherboards that would match these color variants. If you're planning to build and have a match team on your rig. As you can see sa mga photos na ito. Now for the features. Like I said, aside from the color, all of the variants have the similar insides. The MAG Vampiric 300R is a mid-tower ATX case, so it can also support micro ATX and mini ITX motherboards. We have some mesh holes on the front which have some ARGB LED strip lighting underneath, which contributes to its striking design. There's also the MSI logo etched on the top middle. On the sides, meron ding mesh holes so I think airflow, especially intake, wouldn't be much of a problem here. At the top, where this supposed to be front panel is located, we have the power button, reset, power and drive activity LED indicators, 3.5mm audio and microphone jacks, dalawang USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-A ports, isang USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 port, and also a dedicated ARGB LED button, so that you can cycle between predefined ARGB lighting profiles with one click. Meron din siyang magnetic dust filters for the top mounted fans or radiator which supports up to 360mm radiators or tatlong 120mm and dalawang 140mm fans. For the side panel, we have on one side just plain metal with no holes or anything similar. On the other side naman, we have a 3mm hinge door-like tempered glass side panel, magnetic din so mas madaling buksan in case you need to do something inside your PC like cleaning or swapping parts. On the bottom, meron din siyang dust filters for the power supply fan intake. Inside the case, there's 120mm ARGB fan included as well as graphics card support bracket na adjustable so you can set it according to the size ng graphics card mo para hindi magsag. May fan hub din siya sa loob so that you can connect fans on it. And then control all of them at once sa motherboard. Also, present din yung power supply shroud and my hole sa taas nun so that ventilation is also not a problem on that part as well. It can also support two 3.5 inch hard drives and two 2.5 inch SSDs. Standard ATX power supply as well as 7 slot PCIe expansion. As I said earlier, the top mount can support up to 360mm radiators. Same with the front and on the rear, you only have 120mm fan or radiator support. In terms of ease of building on it, di naman ako nahihirapan gawa ng malaki ang case. The front part is easy to remove and the ARGB LED strip underneath is connected not with the cables but with just pins. The PCIe expansion slot covers are also removable so that we can reuse them in the future. Cable grommets are also there and the graphics card support bracket is also easily adjustable. For the airflow, in my opinion, not really the best pero okay pa din naman considering there's a direct small mesh opening in front where the fans could ultimately suck air aside dun sa mga mesh holes sa gilid ng front panel. But the top and rear could also serve as an exhaust creating a decent flow of air inside the case. In my opinion, the MSI MAG Vampiric 300R case is something you look at kung ang plano mo is building on MSI platform especially if you're eyeing the other color variants of the Pacific Blue and Midnight Green. Since MSI has some matching motherboards with those, it looks decent in terms of design then, there's no aggressive styling that can offend some. For the pricing, the MSI MAG Vampiric 300R, yung color black, ang SRP po niya is 6030 while the other variants such as the Pacific Blue 
and the midnight green has the SRP of 6100 for both models.